Saladi Kap. I'm JP Misanza. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. Thousands gathered at Thammasat University's Rangsit campus on the outskirts of Bangkok on Monday night as protests against the government continue, with many demanding a new constitution and more. But protesters are being warned to avoid involving the monarchy in the political conflict. Monday night's rally at Tamasa University was the largest such protest by students so far this year, challenging the government and conservative royalist establishment with speakers lambasting the government, reiterating their demands for a new constitution, dissolution of parliament, resignation of the prime minister, and for officials to stop threatening and going after activists in the kingdom and abroad. That last demand is in reference to several exiled activists who have disappeared, with many believe the Thai government was involved when the latest activist who had gone missing was Wan Chalun Satsakit, who was abducted by armed men outside his home in Cambodia's capital of Phnom Penh back in early June. While last night's peaceful protests saw no violent incidents, only hours earlier on Monday morning, there were two rival protests taking place just outside parliament in Bangkok. One was led by anti-government protesters, a few dozen of them. The others were supporters of the Prayu Chanocha government, one of whom said, quote, a group of people is instigating young minors to come out and attack the military, the government, and also involving the monarchy. And this could lead to violence and destruction of our system of governance and our culture. The rally at Tamasa last night also saw speakers comment on the higher institution, which prompted the deputy rector of the university to issue an apology on Tuesday morning over those comments. And those sentiments were echoed by the head of the Senate House Committee on the Protection of the Royal Institution, who said they hurt the feelings of, quote, tens of millions of Thai people. A litany of social media activity on Twitter and Facebook has prompted the government to act. Officials are now going after Facebook, giving them 15 days to remove URLs and links that they say violate the Computer Crime Act. The Digital Economy and Society Ministry back in April said they received complaints about 1,300 URLs and have asked Facebook to remove them, but only 236 links were removed. And this week, the head of the ministry is threatening legal action if the URLs are not removed. More rallies are being planned for August 16th and even tomorrow, August 12th. Stay up to date with the latest on thepukanews.com. The COVID-19 pandemic and the lockdowns that came with it has given rise to food delivery platforms in Thailand, since people couldn't leave their immediate areas for weeks at a time, and even more so in certain parts. And now with the delivery battles heating up, the Thai government is taking notice. Since the lockdowns to contain the outbreak of COVID-19 were put in place around March, food delivery platforms like Grab, Food Panda, Line Men, Munchie King, Get Food and others, they have seen sales skyrocket. The restaurants are being charged fees up to 35%, making it unviable for some merchants. And back in April, some companies jacked up their fees up to 40%. The Trade Competition Commission, the OTC, they're now setting up guidelines to prevent unfair trade practices to make sure that restaurants are not being taken advantage of by these platforms. Guidelines include requiring food delivery platforms to notify restaurant operators in advance of the reason for fee changes and to do so at a reasonable time. The OTCC commissioner said, quote, without the supervision, we're afraid some online food delivery platforms may dominate the market. We've already consulted the food delivery service providers and restaurant operators and all have agreed on the guidelines. Public hearings are set to take place before a working panel will edit and send the guidelines for approval. Casacorn Research Center forecasts the food delivery market to grow 19 to 21% this year after 14% growth just from last year. Once again, officials have not announced any new confirmed COVID-19 infections in Thailand, neither local nor in quarantine, as the total number for the country stays unchanged at 3,351 since the pandemic hit the kingdom. 94% of patients have recovered, while the death toll remains 58. No local confirmed COVID-19 transmissions for over 70 days now, but the chief of Thailand's Department of Disease Control is warning the nation to not drop its guard despite the good news, as a second wave could easily still take place, but can be greatly reduced with continued measures like social distancing, face masks, and face shields. He said, quote, 
Thailand is likely to be in the same boat as Vietnam. We will find locally transmitted cases, but there might not be a large scale outbreak if all stakeholders come together and help prevent a second wave. And don't forget, tomorrow, Wednesday, August 12th, Thailand will celebrate Queen Siddiket, the Queen Mother's 88th birthday, which is celebrated throughout the country as Mother's Day. And all government offices will be closed, including the Phuket Immigration Office, the Employment Office, and Land Transport Offices, as well as all the district offices. All main bank branches will also close, but branches and shopping centers will remain open. All police stations will be opened, and there will be no ban on the sale of alcohol tomorrow. The auspicious holiday this Wednesday honors the birthday of Queen Siddiket, the mother of His Majesty the King, Mahabajira Longkon. And that's it for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit PVCPhuket.com. We'll be back soon. Till then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.